Welcome to JS Production and today we're going to look at the solutions of mathematics past paper 2 of 2015 specifically we're going to look at question 3 don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and if you want me to do any solutions for any uh, past paper for grade 12 make sure you put your comment down the video so question 3 a reads in the diagram below a circle with center um, with center O passes through the points Q, U, S and V T, P and T are, are tangents to the circle at the points Q and S respectively angle V, Q, O is equal to 20 degrees and angle Q, V, S is equal to 60 degrees so as you can see the diagram is uh, shown in that way then the question proceeds find Roman numero 1 angle Q U S Roman numero 2 angle V Q P Roman numero 3 angle P T R Roman numero 4 reflex uh, reflex of angle S O Q Roman numero 5 the length st given that os is equals to three centimeters and ot is equals to 15 centimeters question b reads express 4 divided by x minus 2 minus 2 divided by x plus 3 as a single fraction in its simplest form Question A reads in the diagram below a circle with center O passes through the points Q, U, S, and V. T, P, and T are a tangents to the circle at the points Q and S, respectively. Angle V, Q, O is equal to 20 degrees, and angle Q, V, S is equal to 60 degrees. So, as you can see, the diagram is drawn in that way. The question proceeds and says find Roman number one angle Q U S one mark. So this means I need to find the angle that is at point U. calculate angle q u s i know that two opposite angles in the quadratic circle they add up to 90 degrees and considering the quadratic shape which is in this form q v s u i can say angle q v s is opposite to angle q u s so i can uh, write uh, this expression angle q u s plus angle q v s is equals to 90 degrees because two opposite angles in a quadratic uh, circle they add up to 90 degrees so i can calculate angle q u s since i know the uh, the value of angle q uh, v s so q u s plus uh, 60 degrees which is the value of angle q v s is equals to 90 degrees then I'll transpose my 60 degrees to the other side of the equation. So I'll say angle QUS is equal to 90 degrees minus when 60 degrees crosses uh, the other the other side of the equation, it will be negative 60 degrees. So uh, angle QUS is equal to 90 degrees, 90 degrees minus 60 degrees. That's a uh, 30 degrees. Roman numeral 2 reads, find angle V, Q, P, 1 mark. To calculate angle V, Q, P, I know that uh, the value of angle O, Q, P is a 90 degree angle. And this is because... Uh, the radius OQ is touching the tangent TP and since I know the value of angle OQ 
v i can calculate uh, i can calculate angle v q p so as i'll say angle o q p is equals to 90 degrees and uh, i can uh, write uh, this expression angle o q v plus angle v q VQP is equals to angle OQP, which is a 90 degree angle. And I know the value of angle OQV as a 20 degrees plus angle VQP. I don't know the value of that. It's the angle that I'm trying to calculate is equals to angle OQP which is 90 degrees so I can say angle VQP is equal to 90 degrees minus 20 degrees so when a 20 crosses the cosine it will be a negative so I can say angle VQP is equals to 90 degrees minus 20 degrees that's a uh, 70 degrees so angle vqp is 70 degrees number number three reads find angle ptr to max To calculate angle PTR, I need to consider the quadratic shape that is in this form OSTQ. And I know the value of angle OQT as a 90 degree angle and that of OST as a 90 degree angle because the two radius that are coming from the center of the circle are. So I need to calculate angle SOQ that is going to help me to calculate angle P. TR. So to calculate angle SOQ, I would say 2 multiplied by angle SVP because when two angles are sharing the same arc, the angle that is on the center of the circle is twice bigger than that that is on the circumference of the circle. So I would say angle SOQ is equal to 2 multiplied by 60 degrees. Then angle SOQ is equals to 2 multiplied by 60 degrees that's a 120 degrees then i know the value of angle s i know the value of angle ost as 90 degree angle because the radius is uh, cutting the tangent the tangent and uh, i also know the value of angle oq T as a 90 degree angle because the radius is cutting the tangent so I can say angle PT R plus angle S O Q plus angle O S T plus angle O Q T is equals to three hundred and sixty degrees because angles in a quadratic shape they add up to three hundred and sixty degrees. Then I'll say angle P T R plus the value of angle S or Q that's 120 degrees plus the value of angle O S T is 90 degrees plus the value of angle O Q T is 90 degrees is equals to 360 degrees. So angle P T R so, uh, so angle PTR 
plus uh, 120 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 90 degrees that's uh, 300 and 300 degrees is equals to 360 degrees so I'll say the value of uh, angle PTR is equals to 360 when 300 crosses the equal sign it will be minus 300 degrees so I'll say uh, the value of angle PTR 360 degrees minus 300 degrees that's uh, 60 degrees Roman numeral 4 reads find reflex of angle S or Q one mark To calculate angle S or Q, I know that angle S or Q and angle S V Q are sharing the same arc, which is arc S U Q. And since angle S or Q is on the center of the circle, angle S or Q is twice bigger than angle S V Q that is on the circumference of the circle. So I would say angle S or angle S or Q. Angle S O Q is equals to two multiplied by angle S V Q. Uh, take note that that P is a Q. There was just a mistake in terms of writing. So I can say angle S O Q is equals to two multiplied by sixty degrees. Angle S O Q is equals to 2 multiplied by 60 degrees that's 120 degrees so that's the value of angle S O Q Loma numero 5 reads find the length ST given that OS is equals to 3 centimeters and OT is equals to 15 centimeters 2 max So to calculate length ST, I know that angle OST is a 90 degree angle. This is because the radius OS is cutting the tangent RT. And uh, this also means that uh, triangle OST is a right angled triangle. So to calculate the value of ST, I can use Pythagoras theorem. So I'll say ST squared is equals to OT squared minus S or squared. So OT squared, that's uh, the length of the hypotenuse. So I can say ST squared is equals to OT, that's uh, 15 squared minus minus S or that's a uh, 3 squared so st squared is equals to 15 squared that's a uh, 225 minus uh, 3 squared that's a uh, 9 so st squared is equals to 225 minus 9 that's a uh, 216 so i can make uh, my square root on both sides of the equation so the squared and the square root will cancel on uh, st so i'm going to have st is equals to the square root of uh, 200 216 that's a uh, 14.6969 so i can say length st is equals to 
if I round off to two decimal places so 14.7 centimeters question B reads express 4 divided by x minus 2 minus 2 divided by x plus 3 as a single fraction in its simplest form 3 max So to express 4 divided by x minus 2 minus 2 divided by x plus 3 as a single fraction, I need to fi first find the lowest common denominator of x minus 2 and x plus 3. So the lowest common denominator is uh, x minus 2 and x plus 3. So x minus 2 into x minus 2 and x plus 3, I'm going to have 4, which is the numerator, multiplied by x plus 3. Then I'll have my negative 2, which is the numerator. Then x plus 3 into x minus 2 and x plus 3, that's uh, x minus 2. Then I'll say uh, 4 multiplied by x, that's uh, 4x plus uh, 4 multiplied by 3 that's 12 negative 2 multiplied by x that's a uh, negative 2x then negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 that's a uh, positive 4 divide by x minus 2 and x plus 3 then i'm going to collect the like terms so i'm going to have 4x minus 2x and uh, positive 12 plus 4 Divide by the denominator which is x minus 2 and x plus 3. So for x minus 2, that's a 2x. Then uh, positive 12 plus uh, 4, that's a plus 16. Divide by the denominator which is uh, x minus 2 and uh, x plus 3. So that's my answer. Thank you for watching. I'll meet you next time.